Hello developers, this is our first video for meal time. So in this video, we going to learn how to use custom fonts. In your company, you have seen your designer give you some custom fonts. You have to use these custom fonts rather than the system provided font. In this video, we going to learn how to use custom fonts in Swift UI. Let's create a new project. Go to File, New, and Project. We are going to create the iOS app. So we can click on app in now next. We have to write a product name. Our name is meal time project. This is organization identifier. We have to write the company name. Let's finish this app. And it will automatically take your name of the of the product name basically. What interface we are going to use? Uh, we are going to use Swift UI. And the life cycle should be of Swift UI app or a UI kit app delegate. iOS introduced Swift UI from iOS 13. First of all, they give some uh, new things that is seen delegate. Now they have created the life cycle of, of Swift UI itself. So as uh, our minimum support should be iOS 13, so we are going to use UI kit app delegate, right? And the language should be Swift itself. Uh, we are not going to use core data and not include test. So we are going to next. In desktop, I am. I want to save this. I have to just create the app. So uh, this is our. Uh, this is our resources. Uh, it gives us the old app delegate file, the new scene delegate. Scene delegate is basically a new way to maintain your life cycle. As you see, uh, our app now can uh, can consist of many scenes, right? It can consist of many windows. It is not for iPhones. It is basically for iPad. There is a multiple screens there. A content view is basically a replacement of a UI view controller. Here we can say scene delegate. Our first screen that is visible to our users is content view. And this content view is basically a structure. We can see the content view by going to definition itself. And the assets where you can uh, you can put your images, you can put your colors. This is a launch, uh, launch screen. It's an old, old one. And this is an info page. So, so in this task, we have to use the custom fonts in the project, right? For this scenario, we are going to use a content view and we have to use some custom fonts, right? This is a canvas area. We have to write a resume. So this is the new thing that is canvas. Uh, whatever you write, it will reflect to this uh, simulator itself. So basically, it takes much time. So I don't prefer this. Basically, I just used to use the simulator itself because it, it is too slow. So this is our canvas. Uh, here we are writing hello world. Uh, we can uh, just uh, describe. This is Swift UI. This is a framework we have to import because uh, we are going to use some Swift UI, uh, Swift UI things. And this is our structure, uh, old structure content view we can say. And in the comment comment area, please describe what is view. What is the type of this view? Right. This is a bare body. Some view. It's a computed property. So this is a text. It's basically a replacement of label we can say. So uh, we are going to use some font, right? So I am just using dot font. It's a property, right? Do we are writing the dot font, so it gives the properties itself. Uh, so this is font. It is taking some uh, default type that is dot title. It if you if you click on dot, it will give you some options, predefined options, right? If you want the large title, you can click the large title. If you want some, if you want footnote, you can write the footnote. And it will basically respect to your canvas itself and if you want some larger title large title right if you write large title it will give you option of uh, large title itself but in this project we are using the custom fonts so what we are what we going to write we are going to write custom so we have to give the name of the font and then the size of font so basically it, it is it is taking the string parameter we have to write the string name and the cg float the size of the script right First of all, I am just creating a new group that is resources. All the resources uh, will go to this folder. In this resources, I am going to create a font folder and I am just selecting all these fonts and drag the font folder. Want these fonts in these targets, so I am just clicking on the finish option. I have added all the custom fonts here. Now, the next step is to tell our project that please use these fonts. I am going to info.plist and here I want to write add a row that will tell that I am going to use some custom fonts. So you have to find F and this is fonts provided by application. It's 
takes the array it's basically a type of array it consists of all the custom font name here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the roboto black name and just paste it here right so it's a roboto black dot ttf okay i'm going back to the content view here i'm just writing the name of the font now i want to resume this so have you uh, have you seen the difference uh, now this is roboto black has been used by this application right so if i i've just add a uh, one more font that is bold and just go to info.pages and just enter our new font name that is roboto bold and going to content view and just write bold here uh, basically it takes the bold custom fonts so uh, we have learned how to use custom fonts but now we have to do some optimization i hate these uh, raw strings written in any, in my code itself so what i am going to do i just want to create a utility function for the font itself uh, it's a utility folder new group that is called as fonts i am just creating a new file for that and it is font right and we can also write custom fonts okay this is custom fonts now the better way to manage strings is to use enums right uh, so i am just creating a enum that is fonts we can write a fonts or we can say font name it is basically a type of string first case is uh, i am just going to write the name of our fonts first of all uh, i have to write a black uh, so basically it's the name of the font uh, it's roboto black uh, i just write a roboto black and we can also create for a uh, case for bold it's roboto bold i am going back to the content view so i just replace this name with font name dot black dot raw value this is now a better case that we are not using the strings in raw format right so now i i want some uh, i want to use these custom fonts in our uh, three labels and it is basically aligned in, in vertical format so for uh, uh, for vertical alignment we have to use something called as v stack okay so this is v stack and i am going to use this text here here i just want this as a bold so that you can find the difference between this so you can find the difference uh, of the middle one so this is one way right i just uh, using the font dot custom so you can see the repetitive things right the font dot custom things right like so we are going to use some helper function that is called as a view modifier you can use these view modifiers in text itself right so what i am going to do i am going back to the custom fonts i am just creating a structure that is called as a fonts right i just name it as a function as a structure is basically a special type that is view modifier it will uh, not give the suggestion because we are not using swift ui framework so i am just importing the swift ui and write the view modifier right i just uh, use the view modifier and please comment out what is uh, the type of view modifier now there is a function called as body content type it is uh, it take a parameter content so uh, these view modifier used by some uh, basically we can say it will use by text so this text will go as a parameter here right so this is uh, our for example uh, in this case our text is using these what modifier so the content is basically a text we can write it as a text right uh, so now this content will use our uh, use our custom fonts right so i am just going to write font and this is custom type and it it needs name and a size right so i am just creating a uh, variable for that font name and the font name should be of type font name right okay and the size itself and the size is in, uh, going to have pg float right and now uh, the font name dot raw value and the size should be the size right this is the size right now i am using this modifier in our content view right so what i am going to do is write dot modifier and the name of that modifier the name of modifier is font right now it will as you see the font is a structure and uh, have uh, and wants the name and the size right you just write the black and the some custom font that is 17 i am using right so 
but change it. Uh, nothing new, but it will now using a modifier itself. So it works right. Now uh, I just replace this with this one. Okay. So now it uh, it will also take some bold thing. I write the bold, and we can see the work. But what is the uh, what is the benefit of this? Because it is taking same thing, right? It is writing dot modifier font something like that. But have you noticed something that in your design, right? There is some uh, common fonts that uh, that are using, right? Uh, suppose it is using only uh, medium and it it can be of some size 15. So what I am doing doing, I am going to custom font and give some default value here. I just uh, throughout app I am using black mostly and font of size 15 value, right? So I am just replacing these things with this thing, right? And the example is that I am using 21 of this thing. So I am now resume these values. Yes, so it, it works. In this video, we have learned how to use custom fonts. In our next video, we are going to learn how to create this login screen. So stay tuned and press the bell icon to get the notification of our new video.